Hedgehog TV welcomes you to the following presentation of the Pacific Coast Sports Racing Association. This cover a telecast is presented by the authority of the Pacific Coast Sports Racing Association for the private use of our audience. Any reproduction, rebroadcast, retransmission, or other seminations are the use of this broadcast descriptions or accounts for the show. But that's express written consent of the Pacific Coast Sports Racing Association is prohibited. On the PCSRA Sports Network from Learfield, welcome to the PCSRA Weekly Show. It's brought to you by Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Stores. For over 51 years, it is the proud sponsor of the PCSRA Weekly Show. The PCSRA Weekly Show broadcast is also brought to you by... Budweiser, Love's Travel Stops, iHeartMedia, The Oklahoman, Newcastle Casino, Devon Energy, Sonic, and by the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office, where we encourage you fans that together we can end DUI. Now, with the call of today's PCS Ray Weekly Show from the Blue Hedgehog Studios in War Acres, Oklahoma, here is your host, the voice of the PCS Ray, Daniel Voiles. The greatest things that we've seen so far in the motorsports world was one of the best of the best but what we saw this the Thursday before the Australian Grand Prix is we lost a friend and legend that we all knew and love and that is Charlie Whiting today on the PCS Re Weekly show I'm ready to honor him as far as we are going as we're going to continue on the greatest tradition ever I'm Daniel Voles. Welcome to another edition of the PCSRA Weekly Show on this Monday night at 7.31. Yes, 8.30 Eastern, 5.30 Pacific out west. Apologize if the time is uh, delayed because of the fact that um, I have had a lot of things go wrong. First off, my Facebook um, got ejected or what I call terminated so I had to bring back my uh, gmail account and I had to make a few changes before um, everybody got a little confused on the nickname so far so I just want to say you know it's it's not been a fun situation if you ask me so um, but it is what it is and you know I just hope you guys respect me and hopefully this is the last time we'll have this crap happen again so with my account so anyway um i hope everybody's doing well today because i am too um as uh we already got members in the call uh already but you know i'm just ready to have fun and uh yeah but we'll honor Charlie Whiting throughout the entire show here today as we're excited to bring you the PCS Ray Weekly Show. As looks like I'm going fourth. Yay. So, but uh, yeah. All right. Tonight's edition of the PCS Ray Weekly Show presented by, um, presented by the Oklahoman. We're going to recap the, uh, as I forgot to skip this earlier. Oops. Uh, we're going to recap the Australian Grand Prix. We'll recap the um, uh, second race of V8 Supercars, also from Melbourne. We also had Xfinity and Cup. We're going to recap, and uh, you know we'll go through some top story news uh, as far as stuff is concerned, and then we will look ahead to Martinsville Formula E, and I believe IndyCar. Yeah, we got all that. So. All right, it is time to introduce the wonderful people. Joining me for tonight's show, Zachary Taylor, Kyle Langland, Nathan Orman, and Savage. Thanks for joining me, boys. No problem, man, no problem. Glad to be here. What's up? Hey, 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 okay, I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna say this. At least Zachary, at least Zachary Taylor wasn't creepy like last week when I think a pigeon just choked his voice cord out. Yeah, he he sounds. <laughs> I love messing with Taylor. That's it. All right. 
So. Wait, by the way, Taylor. Uh, I had some Bob Wars patties and a stroganoff, and it didn't share. Figures. Oh, hey, my, oh, hey, my schedule's that. out. I had jelly sandwich, and no, I did not see it. Figures. PB and J figures, peanut butter and Zachary Taylor sandwich figures. <laughs> Oh gosh darn it, there goes 200. Oh no, there goes 25. Alright, looks like my schedule is out for next week. Yay. Alright, sweet. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had uh, Savage join us, but the good thing for Savage is I did postpone it to a night, so at least that's good for us. Well, that's because I work today, if you're all wondering, so yeah. We get it, we get it, we get it. Alright. Yeah, 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 first night show. Alright, what should I start first, folks? Maybe Martinsville? You mean Auto Club? Martinsville's this week. Yeah. Nice fail. Alright, so let's kick off, yeah, let's kick off the Monday night show recapping. Uh, I'm gonna do NASCAR first, then I'll do uh, V8 Supercars and, um,. F1. So, let's kick off the Monday night show with the recaps starting at Auto Club. Yeah, uh, let me... I'll go ahead and start, Foreman. So, I will get to you. Don't worry. Just be patient. So, the Xfinity race at, at Auto Club was one of those races that you know, at the first, the first two stages, we thought, oh no, here we go again, the Kyle Busch show. Because uh, Kyle Busch swept the first two stages to the surprise of nobody. Then, yes. When Kyber's led, swept both two stages, we thought, oh no, it's a Kyber's show. Yeah. Let's turn off the TV. Yeah. But uh, when we got to stage three, uh, John Hunter Nemechek. Uh, I don't know if he came down on Sieg or if Sieg came up. Regardless, the two made contact and he went in the wall. Um, which thankfully there was a safer barrier. It said that, uh, when they look at the replay, uh, John Hunter Nemechek came down into, uh, uh, John Hunter. Alright. Uh, he was just one of those racing deals, just like the Clash. That's what uh -huh. I'm saying. Yep. And then, um... Then later on in the race, um, Tyler Reddick uh, hit the wall, which caused the tire to go down. Four laps later, Austin Cindric, yeah, Austin Cindric spun to bring out the caution, and then, um, and then with 26 laps remaining, uh, Brandon Jones and Ryan Priest were involved in an incident, which uh, Jones and Priest both spun out. Priest clipped the grass a little bit. Um, didn't do some damage to the car. I'm amazed it didn't do a lot of damage to that 8 car, which I was kind of shocked. Um, the racing was pretty, uh, interesting. Um, Kyle Busch had a restart in 6 after he had a, uh, as I am going to buy the electricity for 150, uh, ha had the dominant car, but the last pit stop really costed him. Uh, really nothing else happened, and at the end of the day, Cole Custer, shockingly, beats the cup leech of Kyle Busch and goes on to win the Xfinity race, which I thought to myself, wow, that could have been a disaster. So the top 10 rundown of the Xfinity race, and I don't know why it says yesterday, it should have said Saturday, that's because I probably left it on there. Uh, no, wait, that's Auto Club, no, that's Cup, I, I don't want Cup, I want Xfinity, thank you. So Cole Custer wins, Kyle Busch second, Christopher Bell third, Tyler Reddick fourth, Chase Briscoe fifth, Austin Cindric sixth, Brandon Jones seventh, Ryan Priest surprisingly came back to finish eighth, and the two Justins, Justin Allgar ninth, and Justin Haley the top ten. A couple of shout outs I want to give. Uh, Br Brandon Brown, top 15 for an underfunded team. I, I got to give him credit. Ryan Sieg, he's been running, he's having good finishes. Gray Golding, Gray Black Jr., their best finishes of the season. And Tommy Joe Martin, surprisingly, did not crash. I'm surprised about that. Well, Chastain had himself another great run. Yeah. But, unfortunately, the cup race wasn't as exciting as the, um, as the Xfinity race. I, I enjoyed it just because of I mean, all the 
like six wide reads. Yeah, the, the restarts were okay, I would have to say. But um, the only incident we had was uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, towards the end of stage one. Uh, got together with Eric Jones, lost control, spun, didn't hit anything. And then uh, nothing really else uh, happened with the possible exception of Bubba Wallace who blew a left front tire late in the race. Which, yeah, the left front. I don't know if he locked up the tires or he ran over something regardless. I saw a lot of like just trash and yeah. pointy stuff and metal stuff on the racetrack the entire race. Yes. Um, before I can. Oh yeah, Boyer went out of the race with an engine failure. Yeah. Oh, before I continue, reminder to everybody in the chat: remember to please make sure you don't uh, say negative language in the chat. Please remember to watch your language in the chat because I don't want to catch it. So just a friendly reminder. But uh, at the end of the day, unfortunately, for the first unfortunate of there's two or three. Oh, we also have to recap Sebring, but I'll come to that later. Uh, unfortunately, the Candyman, Interstate Batteries Boy, the Crygancer, Kyle Bush, sadly, won the cup race. And yeah. that is Kyle Bush's 200 NASCAR National Series win. Which is not 200 cup wins, people, on Facebook. Uh, no and it's, chat yet. Yeah. And it's, it's in, in relevant to the Kings 200 cup wins. But after the race, uh, which I'll get to the, I'll get to after I run through the top 10 rundown for the Cup Series. Top 10 rundown uh, with Kyle Busch, the winner, Joey Logano, second, Brad Keselowski, third, Kevin Harvick, fourth, Ryan Blaney, fifth, Kirk Busch, shockingly doing better than Jamie McMurray last year in that one car, finished in sixth. Denny Hamlin, seventh, Martin Truex Jr., his best finish since joining JGR in eighth, Eric Almarola, ninth, and Austin Dillon, who started the race very sick, and went the entire distance, yeah, went the entire distance, but had to go to the infield care center, which, uh, because of, uh, because he, to get IVs, to get IVs and all that, salvage a top 10. I have to say, he, he's going to be the NASCAR driver of the day. I would have to say Cole Custer would be the Xfinity Series driver of the day, so. Speaking of Cole Custer, um... Just in case Austin Dillon had to get out of the car, in case you guys didn't see, uh, Cole Custer was there to fill in. Yeah. All right. So let's let's only discuss Auto Club first, and then we will get um, Orman and Taylor to discuss the other races. So, guys, what are your thoughts on the Auto Club weekend? Do you did you felt like it was uh, an okay weekend, or do you think that the Cup Series race could have improved with the package? Because I saw a poll that the package stayed the same, just like it did back in Vegas. So, thoughts on the Cup, uh, thoughts on Auto Club weekend? Who would like to go first? I will. I think uh, the Cup race was really good. I see all, I was, there was a lot of action going, going on. There were going like three, three, or four, or five wide. Uh, but. Um, except for Kyle Busch winning, winning but, but the racing was really good, I, I would say. All right. Zachary, yeah, have, go, go ahead. I have to, go ahead, Orman. I have to agree with Kyle. Great racing. Xfinity Series is probably the best race in our club today. This weekend, last weekend, and... Uh, I one on Sunday, but we get up, and I say this race weekend was okay. Alright. I'll go now. Go ahead, Savage. Um, honestly, I think I agree with you guys about the cup race could use a little bit more racing, and like the package could have been better, but still, just the fact that people that they went, went six right before and during the race. That was kind of cool. Um, Xfinity Series. When Kyle Busch swept both stages, I was like, well, time and this. And then that awful pit stop. Trouble on the, what was it, the left front? Or? It was the right front is what I heard. Yeah, they, they had difficulty getting the power off, and that's what cost them the race. Yeah. I, felt, I kind of felt bad, but I kind of didn't. Now, 
in my opinion, uh, we're going to start on the Cowboys 200 win debate yet, or? Uh, we'll get to that in the top story news. Okay. Uh, and, all right, for you, Taylor? Well, I mean, you know, we, uh, did see some wrecks happen, uh, mostly in the vicinity race, though. Um, you know, we saw some, uh, pretty, uh, chaotic restarts at times, and, uh, you know, they, they, they you know, there's some pretty good racing that happened, uh, at part, times throughout the, both races, so, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, like you were talking about, we saw, uh, a pretty decent amount of cars wreck, uh, in the Xfinity race, so, but, you know, I think Auto Club was, uh, some pretty decent racing. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to uh, give you my thoughts on Auto Club in just a second after I go through as looks like we have a betting war. And guess what? I'm going to stay out of it. Okay. Yeah, keep me out of the betting yeah, war. See that. But if you thought the Xfinity race was crazy, the IMSA race was even crazier. Like, let me throw an example. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you how it all happened. Apparently, we had to start the race behind the safety car because we had a 40-minute rainstorm, which Mother Nature played a huge factor. Um, the number 77 prototype apparently broke down on track, which is, press the letter F for the 77F. Um, then the sister car, the 55, um lost I think it was his brakes or something because he slid off the track a long way and slammed into the tire wall that brought out a full course caution and then uh, the number 96 uh, BMW stalled on track which that's not a good that's never good if you ask me but uh, the rest of the race it was pretty chaotic is so far and at the end of the day Felipe Nazar the XF1 driver yes F <laughs> Uh, took home the victory. The top 10 in class, or the prototype class went like this. Felipe Nasser uh, won. Jordan Taylor second. Brendan Hartley, the XF1 driver, got third. Alexander Rossi fourth. Colin Brown fifth. Um, Harry Tinknell, the 55, got seventh, or sixth, rather, in class. Yeah, he got sixth. Um, Tristan Valtier got seventh. Uh, Stephen Sm Simpson got 8th, and completing the field was Simon Paginal, Dean Cameron, and Juan Pablo Montoya. In GT Le Mans, Nick Tandy took home the victory. Sebastian Bourdais finished 2nd. Antonio Garcia got 3rd. The Corvette really just struggled. John Edwards, the BMW, got 4th. Uh, Matteo Geminet got 5th. Richard Westbrook got 6th, and Colton Herta got 7th. And then the only finisher in LMP2 on the lead lap was Kyle Mason. He won over uh, Gabriel Auberly in second, so that's not bad. What? I'll be right back, guys. Uh, Le'Veon Bell 
with someone. You guys hear about that? Uh, no. Uh, he signed with the Jets. For like $86 million or something like that. Mm. It's ridiculous. And the Saints released Mark Ingram. I have my own opinions about that, but I'm just going to keep them to myself. Because, um, I have some not very nice things to say about that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> and Antonio Brown time on someone. Alright, boys, I'm back. I am back. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, Taylor? Okay. Yeah, now, what do you think is you kind of cut out right there? Hey, Taylor? Yeah. I'm having a granola bar, and no, I'm not sharing with you. It is a chocolate chip granola bar I'm having. Ooh, I'm buying it 350. I knew he was going to say figures. Then we had, uh, I'm only going to do the results for the V8 supercars because I don't want, because we got a lot of top story news to go over. Um, so let me go to race number one. Of course, Scotty McLaughlin took three out of four. So the top ten rundown in race one, Scotty McLaughlin won, Fabian Coulthard second. Cameron Waters third, Will Davidson fourth, Chaz Monster fifth, Tim Slade sixth, James Courtney seventh, Jamie Winkup eighth, Lee Holtzworth ninth, David Reynolds completes the top ten. Race 2, top 10 results. McLaughlin won again. Chats Monster 2nd, Cameron Waters 3rd, Jamie Winkup 4th, Fabian Coulthard 5th, Will Davidson 6th, David Reynolds 7th, Tim Slade 8th, James Courtney 9th, Shane Van Gisbert complete the top 10. Chaz Mustard took home the win. Which, funny, here's a funny thing. Ford went 4 for 4 this weekend. Good lord. Good lord. Chaz Monster won, Jamie Winkup second, Tim Slade third, David Reynolds fourth, Fabian Coulthard fifth, Scott Pye sixth, James Courtney seventh, Nick Paraket eighth, Andre Him Gardner ninth, and Will Davidson completed the top ten. And for race four, Scott McLaughlin won again, Chaz Monster finished second again, Jamie Winkup third, Ch Cameron Waters fourth, Will Davidson the top five. The rest of the top ten were Mark Winnebaum, Tim Slade, David Reynolds, Lee Holdsworth, and Nick Paraket. The F1 race, however, uh, was chaotic. Uh, start of the race, uh, Daniel Ricardo on the start of the race, uh, got in the grass, ripped the nose off the car. Unfortunate, he was out of the race, but, uh, or actually he retired late in the race due to a suspension. Then, towards lap 11 or so, Carlos Sainz had smoke coming out of the back of the, um, McLaren. But this time it caught on fire because it showed a little fire and he got out of the car quickly, so his day was done. Uh, towards the mid middle stages, uh, Roman Grosjean had the left front tire not secured, so deja vu like what happened last year as far as that race is concerned. At the end of the day, it went to Valtteri Bottas, surprisingly, as he not only took the race win, but he got the fastest lap of the race, so he gets 26 points and he won the first race of the F1 race. So the top 10 rundown and, goes like and, this. And, and, and not surprising, it is a Mercedes who won. Yeah, but at least it wasn't Hamilton. That's the that's the blessing. So the top 10 rundown was Valtteri Bottas winner, Lewis Hamilton second, Max Verstappen got third shockingly, Sebastian Vettel fourth, Charles Leclerc fifth, Kevin Magnussen sixth, Nico Hulkenberg seventh. What? I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Oh, 
Barnacle Slip Care Place. Alright, I'm back. Okay. Where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, Nico Hulkenberg, 7th. Kimmy Reichen in 8th. Lance Stroll, 9th. Yannick could be at the top 10. So, Orman and Taylor, what were your thoughts on Melbourne? As well as Sebring. Well, as far as the IMSA race uh, goes, you know, obviously, uh, we were racing in the rain majority of the race, so that kind of kind of probably messed up everybody's original plans a little bit racing in the rain like they were so uh, probably kind of threw a bit of a monkey wrench into the plans but uh, you know, overall you know we uh, did see some uh, cars spin and everything but uh, uh, and as far as the F1 race is concerned you know obviously uh, we saw an upset happen uh, since Lewis Hamilton didn't win so uh, we saw uh, an unexpected winner win the race. Yep. And you, Orman? Okay, uh, it's, uh, it was, uh, pretty dramatic, the Elsa race. And it was amazing. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, so my thoughts on the weekend while we wait for Orman to get back. For, um... NASCAR, I really felt like the Xfinity race was way better than the Cup race. Even though there was some battles here that I never wear. V8 Supercars, I really think they have done a good job as far as, you know, trying to get trying to get stuff taken care of as far as you know, it, it was good to see um, Ford dominate, but I guess we underestimated Ford a lot. But in the F1 race, I really felt like, you know, um, Ferrari really kind of struggled if in that race, if you know what I mean. So that's where I see what happened. All right. Okay, continue your thoughts, Orman. So let's go ahead and get to uh, the top story news. Um, as we mentioned, it was Kyle Busch's um, 200th win in all three series combined. So the question I want to ask you guys is: Do you think Kyle Busch is going to be is going to reach 300 wins in his in the near future, or do you think there's no way he's going to make it to 300? Yeah, I definitely would agree with you on that. What about you, Orman? Uh, he will not be the next king of NASCAR, so I don't see him winning 300 races. Yeah. Alright, and Taylor, what about you? Well, I mean... You know, he's probably gonna you know, be racing for about another 10 or so years, so... Um... Unless he was to get seriously hurt again and not race anymore, but you know, I, I mean, I, he's gonna have a really good shot to get the 300 wins. I think, you know, 
But, you know, I think now the big question is, is he going to get to triple-digit wins in cup? I think it's really the big thing now is, is he going to be able to get to 100 wins? I mean, he's just the guy, I think, four now in cup, maybe 54 now. But, um, you know, I, I think he's going to have a good shot to most definitely get 300 total wins. All right. I, I would agree with... Um... I would agree and say, you know, I, I just, I don't, I think the only, as, thank you, le internet, let's just interrupt me when I'm right in the middle of the game, GG. Um, I really think that Kyle Bush is probably going to be at, like, three, possibly 300, but most of those wins would be, uh, un would be in Xfinity and Trucks combined instead of Cup, so. Alright. Moving on... Oh, and here's what Brian just said on Facebook. I hate seeing that Kyle Busch 200 wins as NASCAR is not impressive than Richard Petty's 200 wins. But let me say this. Richard Petty's wins in the 60s and 70s are equal impressive to Kyle Busch's 200 wins in the 2000s. Back in the day when Petty was racing, there was basically one major series of NASCAR, and that is Cup. Back in the 60s and 70s, they raced 50 to 65 races a season. They raced Sundays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. They race at tracks that are close together like one day, and they will be racing at North Wilkesboro, and the next day or two at Bowman Stadium and Winston-Salem, so they get have the same drivers to be able to race two to three days a week. Now today we have three series, but the most races in one series is only 36 races. We will never see a 200 cup win like what we did Petty unless we see a big schedule change in the next few seasons, but it will not, but it will not. Go, but it's not going to happen. Love him or not, Kyle Busch should get our respect. He is a good driver in the modern NASCAR era. Strong statement by Brian, uh, who I'm friends with in the Victory in Jesus chat. Alright. Not sure if I have any other top story news. Um, can I get into it? Yeah, let's... let's uh, yeah, before we get into NR news, I want to send our thoughts and prayers to everybody in New Zealand. Um, very devastating to hear the tragedy, so we're all thinking about you for my Kiwis down south. Okay, what do we got for NR news, folks? Uh, uh, NR 2003 is coming to me this week. Yay. And possible, I'll be doing, I'll be doing two leagues in it. Yep. I might be doing an yeah. LA Cup Series. Five. Um, Side update is to be announced. Wait, wait. Sorry to cut you off, Warman. Wait, what do you mean five, Elijah? He is saying five in the chat. I don't know what that means. Did you just spam a five? Well, I don't know. F5. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we, we, all, we all love Elijah, so yeah. Um, go ahead, go ahead. My NR news is I'm in, this, I'm in the test season for the... Okay, NFL. I didn't know that, Elijah. Sorry to cut you off, dude. I didn't know that, Elijah. I'm just asking. Um, go ahead, dude. Sorry about that. It's for the National Stock Car League. Mm -hmm. uh, National Stock Car League, yeah. Um, I I was tied for sec for most wins in the test season. Yeah. And then yesterday I took the win at Memphis. So now I am the leading all-time leading winner in the um uh, NSEL and also the Drive Through Sim Series season two painting is already underway. So you guys. Well, good, and I'll send you the link. Sign up's already closed, but you may be able to get a reserve ride. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, oh, it's someone telling you, I like that. What do you know? We have little kids here in the booth. <laughs> I like you. Wow. Oh, my God. You came right at the perfect time, driver Elisha. Okay, so Wait. before you guys proceed, let's run down the track facts. In this in this little call that we have, we have a sex toy. <laughs> we have a huggable 
teal hedgehog. <laughs> we have yours truly, Mr. Green. We have, let's see, the blues, the blue hedgehog that's singing the blues. That, that's probably a good we reference. Have a that always loves to go get Jesus. <laughs> and we have a toy show that always plays the savage card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 uh, no, God. He's sandwiched by toys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Something is not wrong at all. Only on the... Don't you dare. Only on the PCS. Only on the PCS Re Weekly Show, my friends. Only on the PCS Re Weekly Show. All right. Do we have any other NR news while we're at it? Going once. Wait, what? I said stuff. Oh. I. Oh, I got twelve. Oh, brother. That's me. Wait, you're eating a sandwich? Figures. Alright. Alright, well I gotta get I just wanted to stop by and see what the heck was going okay. on. So Okay. Alright. Yeah, so we Alright. Okay. Okay. That was that, that was unexpected. Well we already know where it's going to be in twenty nineteen, eh? Yep. All right. So I guess that's it for NR news. Uh, we doing NFL at some point, or um, if you want to talk about M NFL before we look ahead, go right ahead. Since it is a sports show, after all, we always love. Um. Okay. So I've been keeping up with all the uh, Your time has come. everything going on at free agency right now. Yeah, yeah. Everything going on in the off season, yeah. yeah. There's Odell to the Browns. Here you go, guys. For a first, a third, and a safety. Then we also have the Le'Veon Bell. Going to the <coughs> Jet. Yeah. That's kind of surprising. Apparently, yeah. it, it was a deal that blew them away, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had to sign with them. I think it was like eight, yeah. eight, six million. I don't know Something how much. It was four. Yeah. But then we have Mark Ingram getting released from the New Orleans Saints and going to the Ravens. Wow. Then we also have, um, we also have. Excuse me, Antonio Brown to the Raiders. Uh, he was originally supposed to go to the uh, to the Bills, but that deal fell through. And Trent Brown to the Raiders as well. That's interesting, actually. Kevin Coleman went to the Niners, which I'm shocked all about. The Saints signed Latavius Murray. Oh, Thomas went to the Ravens. And then... Tyman and Matthew went... Shake the dice and see what the future holds for you. <laughs> okay. Alright, you guys keep talking uh, about sports. I will be right back. I gotta tell Mom something. Landon Collins... Everyone's worried that Landon Collins is going to be with the 
they won, the Redskins, even though they retired it, my opinion on this is it's not yeah, his, it's not it his number, they retired it, so he should not be allowed to wear it. That's my opinion on that. Alright, I'm dead, kids. Alright. Okay, before we get to uh, looking ahead, I gotta take care of something really important. So. Yes, I'll take. I have. Um, I, oh. I can look. I can look. Let me go look at this real fast. Alright. I think they, they got rid of Cody Parkey. I also heard they got. They they, they don't have. Uh, a, they're running back. Uh, Cohen? I think they still have him. No, they are. Oh. Howard? I think they keep it. Yeah. Jordan Howard. I think they, I'm pretty sure they kept him. So let's see here. So the first wave of grades and signings that they had was Mike Davis, Buster Screen, Cord, um, Cordero Patterson, and HaHa ha Clinton Dix. Ted Larson, Marvin Hall were all added to the Bears, but but they also got Adrian Ambos, Bryce Callahan, Eric Cush, Kevin White, and Josh Bellamy. Those guys left. Yep. Alright. <clears throat> did, did the Bears sign anybody? They signed Ha Ha Clinton Dix, um, Mike Davis. Oh, whoops. Not paying attention. His friend Buster Screen they signed. I'm shocked about that one. Tell me uh, about it. Green. They're doing it as a D, but they also signed Cordero Patterson from the Patriots. He had a one-year deal. That guy's gonna be good. They also signed, we signed Ted Larson. Brought him back. Wait. They, they re-signed Cleo Mack. They did, they did, I'm pretty sure. Good. Cause I don't, uh, cause, cause I, I, I really like Cleo Mack right it's now. It's a one-year deal, I think. Oh. Alright. But they but Ha Ha Quentin Dix is on the Bears now. He's been in been on like three different teams. Well bang. He's gonna be replacing a lot of good guys because remember he's an Alabama boy. Oh give me that two hundred from parking. I got free parking. He's been playing out of his mind right now. He's playing so well. I'm very happy with the way he's been playing. But my thing with this is, we don't know how good exactly he is. We really don't, because we haven't been able to see him play a full full season because of injuries. Yeah, that's just a little food for thought. Is this college related? I um, he had... yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. He had some injuries back at, in his Alabama day. I think he had a leg injury back when he was with Bama and I think he's just been re-injuring now because of the way he plays that's what I think has been going on but also Nick Foles he got signed Let's see if I can find where that is alright Sign him and Jaguar signed Nick Foles to four year $88 million. Bet nobody saw that coming. Wow, the Jags signed Nick Foles? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. And then, right now, this is a rumor by Sports Illustrated, but Dolphins and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Well, what the? Could be agreeing to a two year deal. What the heck? Oh my god, did I just see the weirdest glitch on this game? <laughs> okay, Tommy rolled his dice, but then had to pay, and he, he didn't even move on the board. What 
the heck? Oh my god. Okay. That's going on the bloopers. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a blooper. It was in the 45 minute some, somewhere in that range. I was like, what Sorry, the bro. heck? It's fine. Sorry, I'll pick you guys. Uh, All right. You guys ready now? Yep, I think. All right, before we get to looking ahead to our um, our race weekends we got coming up, which is Martinsville, the Sonya E. Prix for race six of Formula E, and, and um, as I lose $50, rip. Um... <laughs> Yeah, want to remind everybody that um, that we will have uh, Dolphins softball, which I will be broadcasting by myself. It'll be coming up at the in about in an hour from. Actually, no, it'll be it's actually tomorrow because everybody will be off tomorrow. So yay. I know. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, I was saying before we get to looking ahead, so. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. All right, so let's look ahead to Martinsville, Kota, and the Sonia E. Prix. Let's start with Martinsville. We're going from Auto Club Speedway, where we see somewhere at two mile, 200 miles an hour to our first short track race of the season. Yes, real short track. Yep. Hey. Yep. You know what they say. Short track racing, short. Yep, short track racing, short track tempers. What do you think we're gonna see with Trucks and Cup this weekend? Do you think we're gonna see the good old slam banging, drivers punching, the big blue truck coming to the play, or do you think we're gonna see a very calm race, knowing how Martinsville is in the past? <laughs> I think we're gonna see drivers fighting after the race. Considering we already saw fighting at, what was it, Las Vegas? It was ISM and qualifying. ISM. Uh, yeah, we saw fighting at ISM. So we saw fighting there. Oh yeah, we're going to be seeing some fighting in the uh, March race. So I think a lot of beginning banging. And I think, wild prediction here, Chevy's going to dominate. All right. Uh, and Chevy's going to dominate. Uh, Tempest is going to be playing uh, a lot of fights. And Blue Chuck is coming after and, and, and I know some drivers are good at Martinsville. Oh, yeah. I, and I remember uh, one, one time, remember, remember one time, Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon battling oh. in and out for, for the win at Martinsville. And it was a drag race, too. Line. <laughs> All right. Boyer dumped both of them in one. In one. 2012. That was 2012. Is when Boyer dumped. Yep. A lot of great memories there is at Marsville, so. Oh, exactly. 500. Yeah. And don't forget the wasteman. Um. They have a dump taste earlier. Oh, look, he's back to 24. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. All right, so Orman Taylor, what? <sighs> Thank you for interrupting. I'll be right back. Come on, Dad. Um, you guys got anything special going on on your channels here in a little bit? Not really. Because I've got something special coming up. I'm going to be introducing a new concept to my subscribers. I'm going to, I have this whiteboard over here that I haven't been able to use for my channel. And I'm going to do a little hashtag WBW where they can comment something and I have to write it on the whiteboard. I might... I might do it live, or I might do it like on one of my Madden series videos, which are actually coming out. Uh, I'm gonna start grinding these out tomorrow because I've got some stuff planned for later today. I'm gonna be watching some streams. But yeah, I'm just a special coming up here in a little bit because I finally hit that mark. I finally hit it. Well, yeah. 
Uh, before before this, I was actually watching uh, somebody stream on Twitch. Ooh. Nice. Um, if, but if you guys want to check out anything I do, just talk to me on anything, and I'll see what I can do. If you guys want to comment something in my DM on Discord, then go ahead. It's Savage Story Show 721. Savage Story Show 721. And always... Feel free to check out these guys' channels. Because I know these guys are trying to improve the channels. I know I'm probably the smallest channel here. So please, go ahead and subscribe to everyone here.
disappeared and hasn't been back for a while. He'll be back. He'll be back. Yeah, he has to go ahead to, uh, to take care of something because his parents called him. The funny thing that I do is whenever I, whenever I'm trying to go around the girl I'm talking to, I just like, like keep poking her and prodding her until she looks at me and I'm like, hi. And she's like, shut up. Like, she's just joking with me, so we're just, yeah, we've been talking for three years now. Hmm. love at first sight. when I have to burn Zachary Taylor's back with lotion and hot stuff and Taylor accepts it. You're welcome, Taylor. Yeah, Zachary Taylor was doing that to his wife during the commercial break. And Taylor accepted it. Alright. So. Joy to the world, Taylor. Alright. All right, let's get into predictions. Uh, right now, the entry list for NASCAR is not even up. So we'll just wing it out in the words of Kyle Langland. Wing it out, shall we? Yes. Uh, for those of you that don't know how our predictions go, it goes like this. Driver to win, driver to stay away from, driver you think is the dark horse. Um, if you guys need the entry list... Who does not have the intro? Let me look. Let me see. I don't. Um. Oh. Here. Uh. The IndyCar entry list is gonna be. In is gonna be in the chat. Give me. Okay. There's IndyCar. Uh. The entry list. Remember, the drivers with the word all would be the ones that count, not the drivers running Indy or men. Because I remember you, remember I remember you jumped the gun and you picked the driver that's only running Indy. Nice job jumping the gun. Nice job, you dirtbag grandpa. I did not, I did not do it this week. Thank goodness. All right, because all right. Uh, da, 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 da. yeah, we'll just wing it out as far as the. Uh, oh wait. I just put it in the entry list, the racing entry list chat. I see that. I see that. All right. Oh, uh, well, let me get. I'm gonna post the uh, Formula E uh, roster. Yeah, put that in the entry list chat, and I'll pin, I'll go ahead and pin that. If anyone needs the Formula E, I'll I'll go ahead and pin the Indy car one, so that way I have it all saved. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do differently. Instead of having to wait till after the video is done. I'm going to just write them down, but please make sure you repeat, um, repeat it. So, all right, so let's go over the uh, prediction standings, starting with the global standings after Melbourne, which shook up the points big time. I still have the lead by 10 points over Cody Smart, who is in second place with 13 points. Nathan Orman, a huge success of points. He jumps all the way up to third with 12 points in the books. Zachary Taylor is fourth. Derek Hamill, fifth. David Heller, sixth. Hang on a second. I don't feel like pasta, really. Anyway. 
Uh, David Heller uh, is. Wait a minute. Yeah, I lost track because uh, my mom texted me pasta, texted me about dinner. I really don't want pasta. Um, so David Heller has two points. Cody Goforth still on zero, but he'll get some points eventually. However, for the NASCAR standings, it's gotten even closer. Derek Hamill, shockingly, still has the point lead. He leads one point over myself. I have 13 points in the books. Tied for third is Zachary Taylor and Kyle Langland with 12 points in the books. Nathan Orman and Cody Smart are tied for fifth. And then we have Ty Dent with five points. Elijah Leonard and David Heller each have four points in the books. So, yay. How about that? I have none on that, but I'm going to get some this week. Oh, definitely. Okay, so here is how we're going to do the prediction, how we're going to do this. We're going to first do the NASCAR, so that way we get our NASCAR picks out of the way. Um, and then we will let Taylor Orman... Well, Orman will read his picks to us because he's already made predictions. Uh, yeah, for um, Coda and Formula E. So... And can I make mine? Yeah, you'll make... Yeah, okay, so here's how I'm going to do the order. We're going to do Orman, Savage, Taylor, and myself for the other... For the IndyCar Formula E. For NASCAR, this will be in this... Cr will be in this order. We're going to do it... Let me see. I'm going to do it in ABC order. So we'll do... Um, I'll do Kyle, Nathan, Savage, Taylor, myself. That's how we're going to do the predictions for NASCAR. So, all right. First one up. And before uh, you start the predictions, I'm going to get my handy dandy notepad. Hang on a second. Yes, dear. second we're having some technical issues because okay I'm back sorry about that we're we are really struggling on dinner choice which I really don't I don't I really don't want dinner tonight after after everything that's been that after everything that's gone wrong with me on Facebook today I really don't want dinner But anyway, okay, so as I was saying before that rude interruption, um, yeah, uh, let me write the picks down, and I will let Kyle Langland go first, but let me get set up before uh, you make your picks. Let me get set up. So okay. Give me one second, folks. Okay, let me get this set up. Because if I don't get this set up, then yeah. Alright. Trucks. Yeah, I haven't seen the entry list, so we'll just wing it like it is, and then I'll just put the entry list in the pit stop show tomorrow. Okay. Alright. And since Orman's already done a third of my job as far as getting my picks, is, as far as the picks are concerned, well, I'll just paste it on here, so. Yay. For uh, Formula E. So all he has to do is just give me predictions for Trucks and Cup. So let me get this set up. Alright. Alright, Kyle. Go right on ahead. I, go ahead. And you can repeat if I forget who you picked, okay? Go ahead, Kyle. Hang on, look, wait, before you... Okay. I want to make sure that my mic's on. 
Because I, because I cannot do predictions without the mic being on. Yeah, it's on. Okay, go ahead, Cal. I was just checking on the mic. Okay. Okay. My driver to win at Martinsville for the trucks. I'd say a Chevrolet is gonna end up in victory lane. Uh -huh. Therefore, I'm gonna pick Stuart Friesen in the 52. All right. Wow. All right. Let me write that down before I forget. Oh wait a minute. All right. Okay, I got it down. Do I stay away from? I think I don't know if he's racing or not. We'll just. Is he? I don't know if he is or not. He is. I don't think so. I have no idea. Well, I'll write it down. But if he's not on there, who would be your backup driver to stay away from? I would say Myatt Steiner. Myatt. All right, Myatt Steiner. All right, Dark Horse. He's not racing. Who is? I think Myatt Snyder's running the full season. Let me double check. Oh, I spelled Snyder wrong. Oops. Yeah, that was Taylor. Yeah. But if he's not on the entry list, you can change. You can tell me who it is. Uh, uh, okay, let's go to your dark horse, and then if uh, Myatt's not on the entry list, you can uh, let me know in, your, in a DM with me who you pick for a backup backup driver to stay away from. But dark horse? Okay. My driver said, I, I said my driver stay away from was my Snyder tonight. Okay. Yeah, but if he's on the entry list, I'll make sure I'll put it in. But if he's not, then you can DM me who you pick. But let's get to your dark horse first. Alright, my dark horse, I'm going to pick a Jordan Anderson in the number three truck. Alright, Jordan yeah. Anderson, that'll make you unhappy. Alright, for cup. I know that will make you happy, Blue. Yeah, they'll make they'll make Q Man happy. All right, for cut. Uh, is it all three series gonna break? No, Xfinity no, Xfinity is off until Texas. Okay. All right, go ahead, Kyle. I'm ready. Got it down. Driver, stay away from. Driver, stay away from. I would say stay away from Eric Jones. Eric Jones. Mm. All right. Let me make sure. Yeah, I got it safe. All right. Your dark horse. Ryan Blaney is a dark horse. Blaney. All right. What did I say? Kyle goes first, and then it's Orman, right? Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, Alright, go ahead, Orman, for your NASCAR picks. As I lose $50. Do I to win that money fail? <laughs> Todd Gillen. Todd Gillen? Whoa, didn't see that coming. That one. That that's even that's a bigger bull pick like you pick Ryan Sieg the last I don't know what two three races. Last two races. Yeah. All right. Go okay. ahead, Lemon. Do I have to stay away from? Say, do I have to stay away from Grant Infinger? Grant. Roy. Infinger. Wow. Dark horse. And my dark horse pick. Is going to be. Wait, who is your dark horse? I, 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 you cut out, so I couldn't hear your dark horse. Uh, I said Brett okay, because you like you cut out, and I was like, wait, who'd you pick? Okay, thank you, thank you for telling me, because he cut out, and I was like, wait, who'd you pick for a dark horse? Because I couldn't hear. All right, go ahead, okay. pick up. Yes, he is a defending winner of the Spring Martinsville race after it snowed last year. Uh, do I have to stay away from... I gotta say stay away from... Uh, Lola. Eric Amarola. And my dark horse. Crap, I can't... Hang on a second, I'm trying to spell Almarola and I'll just say... I'll just say... Okay, I'll fix it later. I'll just say a dot since I don't want to misspell it or like Eric Almoria. <laughs> yes, who's Eric Almoria? <laughs> okay. Anyway, my dark horse. I'm gonna say my dark horse pick is going to be. Um, Byron. William Byron is your dark horse. Alright. Plus, if somebody else makes their picks, I'm going to read them before I do my picks for uh again it's Cup, Formula E, and IndyCar this week. Or no 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 no. Trucks, Cup, Formula E, and uh IndyCar, I'm sorry. Alright. Savage, you're up. Alright, for trucks. I, I think I heard Kyle Bush was running Martin. He is running Martinsville. Yes, we have a cup leech, sadly. Uh, we have a cup leech. I know okay. who pick it for Chuck. Oh, Kyle, no. Bush, Kyle Bush is going to win. Um, driver to stay away from. Honestly, I'm going to say Moffitt. Brett Moffitt is the driver to stay away from. Wow. And your dark horse. Dark horse. This is gonna shock you guys, but I think the dark horse. Freezing. Stuart Freezing. Freezing. All right. For cup. Cup. Chevy is gonna dominate this race. I think it's gonna be Jimmy winning. Because he's got to get back to victory line at some point. So, when I have a beat Martinsville. Yep. So, Jimmy wins. Jimmy also is a former winner at Martinsville. His last win at Martinsville was 2016. That was when he made it in the next round. I believe that was the year he made it the final four and ended up that winning was, the championship. That was the year he won. Uh, no, he, I believe he won at... Uh, no, we're talking about Martinsville. Martinsville, Mar We're talking about Martinsville, Martinsville Foreman, you dirt. Texas and Martinsville to lock into next round. So. Yeah. But Martinsville was the one he locked himself in. Texas, he didn't have to win, but he won it anyway, so. Okay, driver, stay away from. Stay away from. I think Kevin Harvey's gonna have himself a bad race. Ooh, that's a good choice. And Dark Horse. Dark Horse. This guy's been impressed 
texting me recently. Ryan Newman is gonna be my daughter. Ooh, that was my next. Oh, yeah, Ryan Newman. That was one of my choices I was gonna pick. All right. Mr. Zachary, I don't know why I'm a Cubs fan, Taylor. You're a. Uh... <laughs> Accepted. Yeah, let the trash talking begin before opening day. XD, you're welcome, Taylor. You can okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm Shut the front door, Taylor. <laughs> Shut the front. Trust talk. Base, base cover, guys. Base okay, cover. go ahead. Trucks. Driver to win, Taylor. <laughs> no, I'm not shutting the front door. <laughs> Begins to shut the front door. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Grandpa Taylor. Wait, that's your driver to win? Okay, I'll write that down. <laughs> Easy point. Except, okay, for real. Who's your driver to win? For real. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, what are we? Okay. Okay, my driver to win the truck three race. I'm going to go with Johnny Sauter. Ooh. Really? Wow. That was my other choice, I was going to say. That's. Driver to stay away from. Let me guess. You're gonna say Nathan Stapleton beating up his girlfriend is your driver to stay away from. Okay. <laughs> okay. For real. Okay. Go for okay. it. Okay. My real driver to stay away from. I would say stay away from Matt Craft. Ooh, that was my. I mean, he he's been pretty good at Martin's in the past, so. Yeah. Austin Wayne. I mean, he's been impressing me. So wait, Taylor. So wait, Taylor. So what you're telling me is that Cody Smart is smacking himself. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, accept it. Accepted. And Cody is triggered, and we have to black flag Cody. Okay, for cap, you're driving away. Cody Smart. Cody Smart, who keeps saying Xfinity or. Jennifer Jokov Jr. or Justin Alley Geyer. <laughs> yes, he is Justin Alley Geyer, who is ex who is the NASCAR Xfinity series. Who is Justine Fontaine? You know the rest. You know the rules. All right, driver to win. Oh, whoops! I forgot to put the R S E for Dark Horse. I had it H O for whatever reason. Oops. <laughs> oh my. I I get I guess Stapleton wanted to be a hoe, that's why. <laughs> okay. Driver to win. Driver to win too. You two will be your driver to win. Okay, just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, Taylor. Oh my, God, no. my driver to win the cup race. Now, this driver has been doing decent, but he's been kind of struggling at the same time. I'm going to say he's going to get revenge after what Hamlin did to him a couple of years ago. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, who? Yeah. Who? Elliot. Chase Elliot? Okay. I could not chase in the very same place as Austin Bill from Dawsonville. Hi. I guess Chase Elliott won't give Denny Hamlin some parts at Napa Auto Parts. Get it? Oh. <laughs> I I guess I guess Denny Hamlin won't won't deliver Chase his fa his package from FedEx. Oh, shot. <laughs> what if Denny Hamlin? What if FedEx has to deliver Napa Auto Parts? <laughs> Shots fired. Alright, driver stay away from. Go ahead, Taylor. My my driver stay away from is Mason Olmus. Just kidding. I'm gonna say stay away from Austin Dillon. Wow. Yeah. 
I agree with that one. You, you know what I was thinking of, of a driver to stay away from? Are you kidding me? That would be yeah. Nathan Orm, the driver to stay away from. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do we love to give you a hard time, Orman, or is it because I had to go trigger Nathan and Stapleton so badly and Stapleton accidentally peed on his rectum and Stapleton accepted? Okay, Dark Horse. Ryan Priest. JTG Doherty. Well, and of course, Ryan Priest is good on short tracks, so. Oh, yeah, considering he's a oh, motorcycle whoops. racer. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Oh, I accidentally screwed up. What'd you mess up? I, 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 ac I accidentally clicked back when I should be clicking down, so. Alright, anyway. Yeah. Hey, hey. No, that ain't no derp. That is a Nathan Stapleton derp. Okay, accept it. That, that's why I say. That's why I choose Daniel Boyle as my driver to stay away from. Oh, joy to the world! <laughs> no, 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 no. You know who is my real driver to stay away from? Nathan Stapleton's ex-girlfriend, the chair. <laughs> Stapleton accepted. My driver's, my, I predict my driver's stay away from and cup is Cody Smart because he can't stop running naked and eating hot dogs at Martinsville. And Cody accepted. Alright, alright, for truck series. My driver to win the truck series, since normally I would wait and see if anybody's made picks, but doesn't look like that's the case. Driver to win... I'm going to say, as there goes 250 from free parking. Driver to win. Why not? Matt Crafton. Ooh. I'm the only guy who's picking the cup bleach, really. Driver to stay away from. Okay, I don't know how this is going to go well, but I would I would have said Zachary Taylor Jr. as a driver to stay away from, but just kidding. <laughs> I I know it's not I know Jennifer Joe Cobb Jr. is not my choice for a driver to stay away from just kidding. And Taylor approved and Cody accepted. Alright, my my driver to stay away from Unfortunately I have to say Johnny Sauter. Yeah. I can see it. My dark horse, Kyle Bush. Oh wow. For Cup. Driver to win the cup race. You know what? I'm going to go bold here because even though this may not work in my favor, Eric Almarola. Yes. Who saw that coming? Yes, not Eric Almoria. Cody. Smart. Yeah. Cody, Cody Smart is not being... You know what Cody Smart's doing right now, Orman? Cody is is not being smart because he's having beer at Japan and having sex with Japanese women. That's why he's not so smart. Wait, it. Yes, I can I can make Cody scream like an anime girl, and Cody smart accepted. Oh boy, driver stay away from. I have to say, Alex Bowman's the driver to stay away from. Here's why I say that. Him and him and Larson have a 25th place average finish, but I think Bowman has a worse f result than Kyle Larson. As far as my dark horse, um, who should I pick for a dark horse? You know what? He's gonna be my he's gonna be my sweeping uh no wait. You know what, I'll go chase Elliot. Wow. Alright. Okay, thanks for letting Stapleton
clap his butt cheeks, Taylor. <laughs> Stapleton accepted. Okay, what did you put in the uh, roasting chat? Accepted. Okay, Co if Cody Smart comes across this chat, whatever he does, he better not look at the roasting chat. Wait, Taylor. So what you're telling me is that Cody Smart was getting naked at the drive-thru. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Alright. Alright. IndyCar. Let's do IndyCar and Formula E. Combine that. Um, since Orman's already made his picks, I will just... Do you want me to read your picks for... Um, for... Uh, all right, let me do this. Give me one second. Okay, so Formula All right. E, my, Nathan, my Orman. All right. Wait. Whoops. And our cars is Lucas Degrassi. Lucas Degrassi. Okay. If I put it in a different order, it's it's not going to be a big deal, okay? IndyCar, my winner is Joseph Newgarden. My driver is the same like, um, Will Power. Ooh. And my dog horse is, you got to go with the legend, Scott Dixon. Yes, you have to. Alright. Let me, before I get to Savage's picks, let me clear this up. Wait. You're fine, dude. Alright. Hang on. Okay, I'll hold on to Cody Smart pressure on. Wait, Taylor. So what you're telling me is Cody Smart was pressuring a girl so hard to make her pregnant and have sex. Is that what you're telling me? Smart accepted. Oh, hey, double. I guess Cody Smart is glad he's gonna get triggered since he's not being smart enough. And Cody Smart accepted. I guess. I guess he wants to go have sex with the uh, women in the NCAA tournament. And Cody Smart accepted. All right, Savage, go ahead. Formula E. Wait, what? You gave me another idea. <laughs> oh, Joyland. Alright. Alright. Go ahead. Go ahead, Savage. We're formerly E and Indy cars are picks. Next. Wait, who are we supposed to go? Uh, you, Savage. Oh, um. For formerly E and Indy car. Then it'll be. I'm gonna go out, make my picks. I'm gonna be away from the fast. Alright, go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Zachary Taylor. We'll come back to Savage in a second. Alrighty, I'm gonna get real quick. I guess, I guess Cody Smart is loving his triggered lover right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wait, hang on a second, Taylor. I'm not ready. The dogs don't listen. Joyland. Alright. Well, if Zachary Taylor doesn't realize Cody Smart was getting raped at a McDonald's, then Cody Smart accepted. Alright, go ahead, Taylor. Yes, and then it'll be IndyCar. John Eric, John Eric Vern, you mean? Not Jean. Okay, who's Jean Eric Vern? I know who John Eric Vern is, but Jean Eric Vern? Who's Jean Eric Vern? I call him Jean. Jean Eric Vern, but Jean, that's funny. Okay, I'll add that to the derpings of Zachary Taylor in the weekly show. Okay, 
All right, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Okay, I think Zachary Taylor's new dating wife will be Jean Taylor, and Taylor accepted. <laughs> With what, your sister? Okay, Cody. Okay, Cody Smart Jr. Uh, we're not even going there. Uh, driver, I think he's gonna win the formula. I'm gonna say Jose Maria Lopez is going to pull Jose Maria Lopez. Okay. All right, for IndyCar, Taylor. What? Wait, what'd your dog do? Plowed into my stomach. <laughs> Monster, I must ram your stomach because Cody Smart told me to beat you up. Royal. You're welcome. <laughs> Joy to the world. My dark horse for the IndyCar race. I am going to say Sebastian Borde. Okay, like, all right. Hold on, hold on a sec. That was your dark horse, right? Yeah. Give me one second. I I get I guess I guess Cody Smart wants to go beat up French wives and Cody accepted. I accepted. Oh and yep, I Oh Joyland. Oh. I said Joyland. I don't care if I steal Zachary Taylor's line. He's he cannot stop having sex in the tournament, and Taylor accepted. All right, go ahead, Taylor. Your driver, stay away from. Okay then, my driver to stay away from. Driver says stay away from James Hinchcliffe. Oh, Oops. Man. All right, welcome back. You. Thank you. You're welcome, I, I am not your father. No, wait. Cody. No, 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 wait, Taylor. Cody is your father. Cody Smart. No! Cody Smart accepted. <laughs> With what? Your sister? Okay, accepted, Taylor. Okay. <laughs> yes, because Taylor wants to flirt with my sister, so, ha. Dang. Yes, get roasted, Taylor. Alright, who's your driver to win? Uh, Zachary Taylor's driver to win. Okay, I'll write that down. Just kidding. I'll get even here in a minute. Don't worry. Okay, my driver to win the IndyCar race? I'm gonna say Alexander Rossi. Alexander. Well, he has experience at Coda. Don't get me wrong. Wait, before you do anything, Taylor, I'm about to do this. It's all this stuff going down at. There you go, Taylor. Where's this happening? Where's this happening? I hold up. Accepted. Orman, whatever you do, do not look at what I just put in the roasting chat about smart. What's the roasting chat. Oh, it's a chat that Orman, Taylor, Cody, and Smart, and I are in. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh, Cody's. Uh oh, Cody's active. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, you're in trouble, no, you're in trouble smart head. Be begins to accept it. <laughs> Accepted. Alright, can I go? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the formula, the formula E. I'm gonna say my driver to stay away from. Honestly, I'm gonna complete fluff up this name, but Robert Bridges or how you pronounce that? Robert. Who, wait, hang on. Let me let me get to. Hang on, hang on a second. Oh, who drives the four in Formula E? Okay, give me one. Robert Fringe. Robert Fringe. Hang on, I gotta spell it. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes. Can I can I smack Cody Smart in the head with a dildo and Cody accept it? Cody Smart accept it. Oh, that's not not not. I got it. I got it. I got it. John Eric Burn. John Eric Burn. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, Joyland. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm not not there yet. Okay, Robert Friend. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, Jean Eric Vern, right? Yes, it's my driver. To... Yeah. Okay, I'll spell it later. I'll fix the spelling later. Not right this second. My dark horse is gonna be Nelson PK actually. Wow, Nelson PK. Okay, oh yeah, I've got to you part. But Nelson PK Jr. Why is it? Why did I just spell? Why did I just butcher his name? GG me. Okay. IndyCar! IndyCar! Advance to go. Collect $200. Sorry to cut you off. My driver to win IndyCar. Will Power. Whoa. Saw that coming. Driver to stay away from. I'm gonna have to go with Ed Jones. Ed Jones. I think he's racing. Let me. Double check. Is he racing this weekend? One, two, five, seven, eight, ten, eleven, thirteen, sixteen. Uh, excuse me. And then base six. Yeah. Base sixty-four. And Taylor didn't say his favorite line. Taylor should have said his favorite line because I belched. Nice relational belch. Thank you, Captain. You may, you may now, you may now, but rape Cody Smart, Taylor, and Cody accept it. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, oh. Well, Cody's Cody's Cody Smart's like getting it on. <laughs> oh joy! Yeah, yeah. Ed Jones is racing. Okay, he's racing the first five events. Okay. <laughs> okay, my dark horse. Dark horse. Marco and Johnny. Marco Andretti. What happened? What happened? Smacks Taylor with a Monopoly girl, and Taylor. No, I said what you just posted. Apparently, it's a twenty-four works works truck. Oh. For Martinsville. Ooh. Taylor, whatever you accepted. Okay, go ahead and put in the uh, general chat for the weekly show. All right, are you guys ready to hear my picks? Since this is going to be easy. All right, before we get to my picks, let me get, go ahead and give you guys a look ahead this week's upcoming PCS Ray weekly show event presented by Andy's Frozen Custard. Uh, Formula E race at, was it China they're at this week, Orman? Uh, yeah, China. Okay, and uh, Martinsville next week. We'll go through the top story news and all that good stuff, and then we'll look at the Texas. Wait, what? Oh, accepted. Both did Taylor and Cody Smart. Yeah. So, so next week is Texas, Bahrain, and whatever track is coming up next on the calendar. So that will be a look at this week's upcoming PCS or a weekly show. That's all right. Back to the task in hand. Before I smack Zachary Taylor with a sex pan, driver to win the Formula E race. <laughs> Do you ever win the Formula E race? Nelson PK. Really? Yes. Really, really. That, that would be a cool oh, come on, Taylor. Why are you trying to me? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's Cody? Where's Cody's boob man? Cody Smart's boob man. Is it Zachary Taylor? Oh, Orman, don't look at what Taylor just said. <laughs> Stop roasting me or I'm going to be Coca-Cola all over your body, Taylor, said Orman. Yes, you may. Whoever did the really, really... Th I said not accept the first, 
<laughs> well, actually, I just pulled it off the Shrek deal. You can blame Zachary Taylor because he said really, really. Boil. You're welcome. Taylor accepted. Taylor, don't make, make me uh, send Foxy over there. Driving to stay away from. Oh, oh, come on. Not accepted. Jar to stay away from I'm gonna say Felipe Massa. Wow. Interesting. Dark horse. I'll do a I'll do a funny dark horse before I get to my real dark horse. Dark horse would be Cody Smart running naked in China because he wants to impress all the women and Cody accepted. <laughs> Accepted, Orman. I haven't voted yet, so I'm happy. Yes. Dark Horse for real. <laughs> Daniel App. Oh, yeah, because it has Daniel in it. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, Orman. So what you're telling me is that Zachary Taylor was apted in, in his social study class. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, accepted. For IndyCar, driver to win... I too will pick Alexander Rossi. Hmm. Driver to stay away from. I'm sorry, but I have to stay away from Marcus Erickson. He he really struggled at Coda. Like what he did last year. I uh, just ignore if it's wrong. Dark horse will power. All right. Okay, so now we're going to end it off with the Zachary Taylor's singing God Bless Cody Smart Getting Raped and Cody Accepted. <laughs> Starts to sing the song that becomes a thing. Oh, Joyland. What? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Uh, you can if you want to, as long as it's not as long as it's not Christmas related. And Taylor, if it's about Cody Smart being Nick, it's gonna be Twenty One Pilots, is all right? Uh, whatever you want to do. No, Orman. Gosh darn it, Orman. Quit saying Christmas songs. Never Armin, don't look at the roasting chat. <laughs> Taylor, whatever you do, too, don't look at the roasting chat. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead before we sign off tonight. Smacks Taylor with his car. Except I just want to head on over to my YouTube channel. I should be streaming maybe tomorrow, maybe tonight, if I'm feeling up to it. Yeah. But if you guys don't know what my channel is, it is Savage Toy Show. Um, I'm on that road to 100. Oh. I hit it, I hit it yesterday, but, but then someone unsubbed. So now I need the one to get 100. Yep. But... but if you guys want to head on over some of my most recent video, and I'll put it on my whiteboard. Thank you guys so much. All right. All right. Everything done. So before we sign off, it is time for final. Candyland. Oh, brother. Okay. Before we before we sign off tonight, let's get let's go ahead and start with our final thoughts. Uh, I'll start with Savage, then we'll do Orman, then Kyle, and then Cody. So, final thoughts on the weekend, Savage. Well, you're Cody Smart sex toy, okay? <laughs> My final thoughts is is about this past weekend. Uh, yeah, this past weekend. Anything this past you weekend? Racing was good. Um, would like to see a little bit better out of Jimmy, but that's just my personal opinion. So yeah, that's my final thought. Nathan Orman, final thoughts. Uh, the bag this weekend, pretty good racing. Can't wait for next weekend. Kyle Langland, final thoughts. <laughs> I think the racing was was, was okay overall, but. <laughs> 
can't wait for Marsville. Zachary Taylor, final thoughts. Well, I mean, we saw some good racing uh, over the weekend throughout uh, not only NASCAR, but also IMSA and the V8 Supercar. So uh, now we uh, get ready to see IndyCar race again, and now we get ready to go to the first half mile of the season. Oh, yeah, definitely. For me, as my final takeaway, um, I think we could all agree with the fact that we're definitely going to miss a great friend. And I don't care if it's a broadcaster, a legend, or anybody who has done a great job for what um, Charlie Whiting has done for our sport. And we're definitely going to miss him in the FIA community so far. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so that is going to... Um, that's going to be probably um, all we have to say. Of course, next week, we're looking forward to next week's show. Hopefully, there's nobody dying next weekend. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Oklahoma Highway Safety Office reminds all of our friends that together we can end DUI around the state of Oklahoma and anywhere else. Visit enduyok.com for more details. Thank you guys for joining me. I can't wait to uh, talk to you probably tomorrow since I'm finally not going to be working until Saturday. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hugs, everybody. Hugs, hugs. All right. I want to thank the greatest people in the world, Savage, Kyle Langland, Nathan Orman, Zachary Taylor. Thank them for joining me. Also, want to thank the greatest people ever, Elijah Leonard, Nathan Stapleton, Travis Crampton, our statistician, Caleb Hobbs, producer and engineer, Jackie Tang, Alex Hawkins, V8 supercar announcer, Zachary Fitzwater, and Greg Rutz running the show for us back in our PCS Ray Network studios. <clears throat> Final score, one final time this past Saturday in the Big 12 tournament game for the for before the NCAA tournament. It was West Virginia beating Oklahoma 72 to 71. As OU will start their tournament game this Right, or this Thursday at 11.40. You can hear the broadcast right here on 107.7 The Franchise. Oklahoma's new sound for sports, 107.9 The Franchise Tulsa. Until next Monday. In the, until next Monday around this time, next Monday, when we recap the Martinsville weekend, Formula E, IndyCar at Coda, go through our top story news and everything else, and we look ahead to Texas Motor Speedway, Bahrain, and whatever track we go to on the calendar, this is Daniel Vol saying, RIP Charlie Whiting, and Boomer Sooner, everybody. This PCSRA Weekly Show broadcast has been brought to you by Brahms Ice Cream and Dairy Stores. For over 51 years, it's the proud sponsor of the PCSRA Weekly Show. The PCSRA Weekly Show was also brought to you by Budweiser, Love's Travel Stops, iHeartMedia, The Oklahoman, Newcastle Casino, Devon Energy, Sonic, and by the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office, where together we can end DOI. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the PCSRA Sports Network. Copyright 2019 by the Pacific Coast Sports Racing Association. Blue Hedgehog TV. Thanks you for watching this presentation of the Pacific Coast Sports Racing Association.